guys how's it going it's a uh, height here and we're back with a brand new episode of beltex and in the last episode we unlocked the copy and paste and i have been letting my facilities here just kind of run for a little while because i wanted to use up all of these first tier things and hopefully what that means is everything that i am currently making i don't need anymore is basically where I'm at so I think I think I think we should be able to just um, take every single thing and delete it all and we can hopefully start over with a brand new clean slate well there we go there's no going back now <laughs> Oh my gosh okay so we need to start making 260s and i think what i want to do is start the first thing i want to do is set up a facility where we can copy and paste all of our factories now we used to use um 10 of the multipliers and eight of the adders but i think i'm gonna just overdo it on everything because now that i'm able to copy and paste i don't think it matters so much so I might go with like 12 of everything, maybe. And we'll just kind of hope for the best. I think that's maybe the best way to go. Maybe it's not, but whatever. We're going to just live with it. I'm going to do 12 of everything. We're going to hope for the best. And we're just going to see how that ends up working out for us. So here's our first one, and I think I just, I think I want to just send everything out one way. And I guess if I have to switch it, we could set them up to go opposite ways. But that should be fine for now. Can I copy something like this? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that is good. Okay, we can copy this. Oh, that is just that is just the best okay so there we go i wonder if you know what because it's so easy to copy and paste things maybe i'll set up some going right and some going left maybe i don't know is it is that crazy i think it's fine let's do it i'm gonna have some going right and some going left and then at least no matter what I need I'll just have something that can do it and the only thing that I'm not gonna have is like a mixture where the stuff comes in the left and goes out the right uh, opposite comes in the left and goes out the left but I mean if we need it to switch I guess what I could do, can we rotate stuff when we copy it? Is that a thing? Oh my god. Oh my gosh, it goes at an angle? Okay. Good to know. Very good to know. So we can come in the left, go out the right. Come in the right, go out the left. So all I need to do is come in one side and go out the same side. And we should be able to do any single thing that we want right if i do something like this i i think that pretty much covers every situation with the ability to be able to flip it around there that should just work now for any for anything that we can imagine i hope i don't know we'll see how it goes let's copy that i'm going to need to copy this all right okay now we gotta start making 260s and oh boy what do i want to use for that 260 uh maybe fours then i need 65 um four four times 65 and 65 is 5 times 13. 
So we got to make a 13 times by a 5. Okay. Okay. And a 13 is just two fives and a three added together. I mean, let's, let's start. We got to start somewhere. I just realized, you know what? We can start using the storages to allow more inputs into something. So now, I think I might actually want to kind of run one of these the other way. Got too much stuff going into that belt. So now we've got two and a bit belts of outputs, which means I should be able to put these in here. And if that number keeps going up with two full belts coming out of it, then I don't have to worry about anything else. So that's actually a good use for the storages. Just to act as a buffer to kind of combine all this stuff. All right, that looks like it's going to work for us. We're making tens. I'm going to have to haul those down this way. 10 plus three is going to make us 13. Perfect. And then we want to take the 13s times them by five. And I guess Something like this should probably work. Am I able to take another row of fives out of here or is that too much? That might be asking too much. Uh, it's not quite keeping up. So maybe we just slap a few more fives in here and we'll see what that does. Maybe that was not the best. Maybe we want to actually do this instead. All right, that looks like for the most part that it's going to keep up. So we're going to run these 13s down into here. And that's looking good. So that's making us 65. Now all we need to do is times that by four and we're done. Let's see, that was easy. So we'll just get a whole pile of fours. Kind of the same thing, I think. Maybe do we want to run another storage? I actually think the storages are good for this specific instance. Because we can just run a pile of fours. And if I need more, then we'll just get more. That looks good. All right, so we got bunch of fours coming out i'm going to connect those fours into here we're going to connect the 65s into here and that should be making us the 260s i hope how are we doing we're making some 260s it's looking good i'm kind of disappointed in the numbers though why is this not producing a full belt? Maybe it will over time. Because we're making a full belt of everything else. Yeah, maybe it just needs a moment to, to build up. Oh, it looks like we're making a full belt now. Almost. Pretty close. Every once in a while, one of them doesn't get filled, but it's getting there. Yep, I think we're going to get there. Oh, I think it's... We're so close oh okay anyway i think we're almost there now this is going to take no time to finish up i guess while that's happening i should be considering what's the next thing i want to work on and what is the next thing i want to work on okay so 306 uh, 336 is seven times three times four times four which is four plus three times four times four and four plus three times four times four. I mean, we could probably just get a whole pile of extractors down here and figure out what we're going to do with it after. Let's just start getting a whole bunch of fours and getting a whole bunch of threes. And we'll set up the factory after that. Okay, so we've got a belt here of fours. Let's get the fours going, or one belt of fours anyway. Maybe I should take them from higher up because we're going to need a bunch of these. 
So we'll take some fours. Four times three. Okay, and then that is going to... Oh, that's supposed to be plus. Okay, that's going to make us that. Then we're going to need to times that by three, because that's going to make us 21. So we'll wrap that around in here, and I'm going to need to get some threes. So we'll connect this into here. We'll connect that into there. That is going to make us 21. Then we have to flip. I want to do this. This is going to make a mess. I need to connect these two guys. Whoa, can I undo? I don't think I can undo. What have I done? What have I done? Oh my God. You know what? It's probably easier to just destroy this whole thing and start over. Oh my God, I gotta do the adding things as well. I made a big mess. <laughs> oh. oh, I made a big mess. Okay, let's get the re-adders here. Copy that. Put it in here. Something like that. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. We're gonna need the multipliers. I gotta fix all of this. What did I do? I made a huge mess. Okay. Something like this. We'll connect that into there. Let's see what we unlocked here or what the next thing is we need to start making. 305s. That's going to start extraction sevens. Oh, extraction seven unlocked in two levels. Okay, well, we're going to have to worry about that in a moment, but let's get this thing going first. We have 21s. I need to times that by four. I'm going to need to times that by four again, I think. So we'll connect this into there I'm going to need some fours so we'll wrap that around in here okay and then all I gotta do is connect that I think to another set of fours oh I think we want to who let's take this and I might just feed that all the way around and back in on itself. Because my fours are on this side. Let's do it. I'm going to take these. We're going to run them all the way into here. Take some extra fours. Run that into there. Make sure we're still producing enough fours. We're not... So this is going to end up being a problem at some point. I need to make some more fours or get some more fours. There's fours up there. I might just sneak a few just to make sure we don't run out. And we'll run this over here and tuck it in. Tuck it in here somewhere. Whatever. As long as we're back to the net positive, I don't care. And there we go. We're making 336. All I got to do with this is plummet into our hub. Oh, so close. Okay, so that is working. We need... Should I leave the 260s? Or start using them for something else? 260 times 2 gives us 520. And then I just got to add 1. That seems really good. So let's take this. I'm going to need this right here somewhere. We're going to need to times that by two. No. I got to quit copying this just willy nilly onto things. I'm going to make a mess. Okay, we'll connect this guy up into here. 
break that. Don't need this anymore for now. Let's get a whole pile of twos. And we'll feed that into there. Whoops, that is not the right way. Okay, whole pile of twos. Actually, if I connect that in there, I can stick another one of these in there. That's going to make us 520s, and then I just got to add one to that, which is easy peasy. Where am I going to get? Oh, I can just get ones from right there. Okay, we'll get a whole pile of ones. Probably way more than what we're going to need. And we will just feed that right down into there. Come on. There we go. And then this is just going to wrap around and connect right back into here. Okay, so that is going to make us 521s, I hope. Yes. Good. We're making 336s. Okay, what else do we need? Man, this is starting to become a pretty good process. Well, we still need 305. So should I just make... Should I just make a bunch of hundreds? Eh. I guess we could make a hundred. So I'd make some tens. Make a pile of tens. Times it by ten. Times that by three. And then add five. What's the biggest number I have right now? I think it's six, right? So six times six is 36. Times six is 216. And then I just got to add 89 to that, which is kind of a weird number. 89. Um, that is a weird number. I don't know how I'm going to get to 89. But we can start with 6 times 6 times 6 just to get some big numbers going. Let's get a whole pile of 6s. I love me some 6s. And we'll see what we can come up with from there. All right, guys. I figured out how we're going to make 89s. We've made 4 times 2 to make 8. I'm going to take the 8s times by the 11s that I've made over here, which is just 5 plus 6. And that is going to make us 88. And then all I got to do is combine that with some 1s. Which should be really easy to do, I hope. Combine that with some ones and an adder. Let's see if I can get this to copy. Copy those. Something like, actually something like that should work out just fine. We'll take the ones up over this way. All right, that's gonna make us 89s, and then I just gotta add that. I just gotta add that. I think to these guys, and we should have the number we're looking for. Right? Let's see. Connect that. Ooh, that almost worked out perfectly. Connect that into there. And make sure all of our belts are full. For the most part, everything is looking full. Alright, and that is making us 305. Let's go ahead and try and connect that in here. Perfect. Okay, so that's gonna make us 305s. We're making 521s, we're making 336s. 521, 336, we still need more of those, so that's gonna keep going. 321. Yeah. Maybe once we're done with the 305s. Mm, do we do that? Maybe once we're done with the 305s, we just add 16, which is just going to be some 4x4 four four action. 4x4 four four action. 
don't see too many fours. We could get it going if we had to. And then that'll be the next one there. 157. It's a gross number two. There, there's a lot of gross numbers happening. So to make 221 or 222, we're already making 216. It's just six times six times six plus six. And that should be 222. So I think I need to find a big old area with a whole bunch of sixes, kind of like this. And we're just going to start combining sixes together for days. So I'm hoping something like this works. So we're going to go six times six. We're going to take that. We're going to add it in there. We're going to times by six. And then we're going to take that, add it in there. And we are going to take in some more sixes and that should make us two, 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 two. Perfect. That's what we need. We need a bunch of two, two, two. So I'm going to just go ahead, run this around, connect that into our hub. Bingo. And that should be that. If I want to make this get a full belt. I think all I got to do is let this thing just back up for a moment. Once it's backed up we should be able to just watch a full belt come out. It's probably not the most efficient way to do it because it doesn't really matter if it's full or not. But we're just going to let it build up just so it looks prettier. I like to see these full belts. It makes me feel happy. <laughs> so we're going to let it fill up. And then let's take a look at what else we got. We got 157, which kind of sucks. We got 321, which also kind of sucks. But we could make 320s. That is 80s. 80 times 4, which is just 8 times 10. Eh, that's not bad. 80 times 4. Yeah, let's do something like that. I don't mind that at all. We're going to need 10s. We're going to need 8s, which is 5 times 2 and 4 times 2. And then... So we're going to need a bunch of 5s. A bunch of twos and a bunch of fours and then some ones just to top it all off i think this area up here is actually looking pretty good we got fives fours twos and ones it's all right there we should be able to do it pretty easily okay that looks all good let's go ahead connect that right into there it's gonna start working and let's get this new factory set up so two times four is gonna make us eight two times five is gonna make us ten or I could go 5 plus 5 even, same thing. Then 8 times 10 is 80, and 80 times 4 is 320. Then we add one on it, and we're done. Okay, let's get that going. That shouldn't take too long. That's not bad. You know what the worst part about setting up with like a new number is? Is just getting all the miners that you need, because the miners... Miners kind of suck to set up and I haven't found a better way to do it. So you kind of just have to just do it. You just got to set them all up, connect them all. And it's not the best, but once it's done, it's done. Whoops. Oh no, I think all that's actually set up properly. All right. So I've been looking and since we have so many fives, I think I am going to go with the five plus five to make tens. I just we have a lot of fives. So we're thinking we're going to do that. Five plus five is going to make us ten. What is this what do we have over here? Okay, four times two. Okay. Okay, we're getting there. Okay. Let's see. We are still producing enough fives, which is good. So five times five, or five plus five is ten. Times by four plus two, which is eight and eighty. Then 80 times 4 gives us 320, plus 1 gives us 321. That's the perfect number. And then I just need to connect this right down into here. That'll do. And that will do. Okay. 321s are coming in. 
We got a new unlock. Oh, we got belt speed upgrades. Ooh, that's probably gonna start screwing up some stuff. That's okay. I feel like our belts aren't gonna be full anymore. But, but that's okay. Yeah, they're definitely not full anymore. <laughs> that's okay, I think. We're still producing quite a few things. I probably should have increased this even farther. Instead of 12, we could have done like 14 or 16 or something just to make sure. But whatever, it's fine. Okay, so we're making this. Oh my God, we're up into four digits. One, 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 one. Holy cow. Holy cow. I think we're going to have to start unlocking new numbers pretty soon extraction seven once we get to four oh threes and do we still need three oh fives or are we done with three oh fives i think we're done with them and we had been talking before about adding 16 to 305 we don't need to do that anymore because I'm already making 321s. So what do I want to start making then? 157s? I feel like 167 is the next logical thing because the four digit one just seems like a pain in the butt. So maybe we start making 50s. Timesing it by three and then adding seven. That's not so bad. We could also go like five times five times five. And then add 32, which is why am I, I'm having a brain fart right now. 32, eight times four. So we could go four times five times five times five plus four times two times four and that will get us there that's not bad i don't know i don't know things are starting to get a little bit wacky we're almost into the four digits i might just set this 157 up off camera to get it going and then in the next one it looks like we're starting to push four digits and that's starting to get pretty spooky so we'll have to see how that goes. I do also, I kind of want to finish the level 15. So maybe we start doing 403s and get that going. Because then we can start unlocking sevens, which are probably, I mean, it's more useful than sixes if we're trying to make big numbers, because the bigger the number multiplied by itself, the faster it gets bigger, bigger, bigger. But anyway, I think we're going to wrap up this episode right there, guys. I hope you are liking the series so far. If you are, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And I will see you next time.